Hi guys, I've not done a video for a while, so I uh, thought I'd do another one, this time on cell shading. Uh, cell shading with the difference in Lightwave, where um, we don't use any shaders and we don't use any render outlines either. So this technique kind of gives you a nice sort of clean vector look to it with clean lines. Uh, I've tried lots of times to produce stuff with the render outlines and it's, it's pretty good. You can taper and you can change sizes and, and so on but um, I'll, I want to get a really clean look so hopefully I'm going to show you uh, how to get something close so let's get stuck in so I've got this uh, Calvin character I created just with standard kind of shading on him and so what I want to do first off is I'm going to just wipe out all the shading so it's flat colour um, so that's that's just flat as it comes there so what I want to do is add some gradients to give the cell shade look usually or previously I'd come into my shaders and add the super cell shader um, but I'd never got on that well with it so this is a bit easier to control in my opinion so first off let's go with the skin and I'm just going to add a gradient uh, secondly, I'm going to set that to be light instance and select my light. So what I want to do is basically create keys in the gradient which are going to be the bands of my cell shading. So if I come to this first one, I'm going to start with the darker shade. So we'll go uh, about there. Uh, the second one, slightly lighter, we'll go here. You can see there straight away that has uh, got some banding which is linked to my light as I rotate my light so I'm just going to squeeze that in a little just to make these bands a little bit more even and then I'm going to come to my blending mode and I'm going to go Photoshop color burn and I'm also going to just crank up the intensity the opacity so that gives quite a nice effect so what I'll do is I'll just select that and I'll select oh sorry I'll copy that and I'm going to select all my layers there we go so we've got a nice uh, kind of cell look to every surface there I'm just going to jump onto the jumper and add an image map and load the stripe back on ok so this is looking nice and clean but we want uh, a nice outline as well so if I just turn VPR off and head over to model it I'm going to copy this character into a new layer so basically what we're going to do is build our uh, outlines from the ge geometry so if I just create a new surface there um, what I'm going to do is just have my original object in the background layer and I'm going to come to modify point normal move and I'm just going to start sliding this We've got 13 mil. Let's have a look what that looks like. Okay, first things first, I need to flip the polygons. So there we can see we've got an outline for the character, which is kind of nice. So we can also just keep tweaking the size of those lines something like that looks quite good so we also need to delete some geometry out of here I think um, if you select the eyebrows, the eyes and the tongue let's try that now get something that looks a bit cleaner they're already black anyway around those areas so 
um, they don't really need an, an extra outline. So we'll come to my lines surface. I'm just going to set that to be a flat color as well, and then make that a sort of dark grey. So let's just save that and come over to layout. I'm just going to parent those two together. Okay. Now we've got a pretty nice kind of uh, very very clean sort of vector looking render. Maybe I've got a bit too high on his nose, so we can we can go back in there and let's have a look at his nose. Let's just scale that down ever so slightly. We'll use the point point normal move again and just bring it in. There we go. That's better. So, if you wanted to add a bit of variation to it, kind of like the uh, tapered edges, you could come into um, your new layer and you could probably give it a bit of jitter or something. So, I don't know, let's go 20mm. You can test this out in Modeler, of course. That looks kind of nice. Let's try it again. Just to break those lines up a bit. You can see these really feel kind of bent up now. Let's try that. That's kind of a little bit too sketchy, but let's try that. So there we go, cell shade without plugins and a nice clean look. Thanks for watching.